This is a recording of an article on Wikipedia and was recorded by user Popular Outcast. The material recorded is current as of the June 11, 2008 revision of the article. American Black Vulture from Wikipedia, the Free Encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. The American Black Vulture, Corgyps atratus, also known as the black vulture, is a bird in the New World vulture family whose range extends from the southeastern United States to South America. Although a common and widespread species, it has a somewhat more restricted distribution than its compatriot, the turkey vulture, which breeds well into Canada and south to Tierra del Fuego. Despite the similar name and appearance, this species is unrelated to the Eurasian black vulture. The latter species is an old world vulture in the family Accipitridae, which includes eagles, hawks, kites, and harriers, whereas the American species is a new world vulture. It is the only extant member of the genus Corrigips, which is in the family Cathartidae. It inhabits relatively open areas which provide scattered forest or shrublands. With a wingspan of 1.5 meters or 5 feet, the American black vulture is a large bird, though relatively small for a vulture. It has black plumage, a featherless grayish-black head and neck, and a short, hooked beak. The American black vulture is a scavenger and feeds on carrion, but will also eat eggs or kill newborn animals. In areas populated by humans, it also feeds at garbage dumps. It finds its meals either by using its keen eyesight or by following other New World vultures, which possess a keen sense of smell. Lacking a syrinx, the vocal organ of birds, its only vocalizations are grunts or low hisses. It lays its eggs in caves or hollow trees or on the bare ground, and generally raises two chicks each year, which it feeds by regurgitation. In the United States, the vulture receives legal protection under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1918. This vulture also appeared in Mayan codices. The following is a listing of the contents of this article. Section 1. Taxonomy. Section 1.1. Evolutionary history of Corrigips. Section 2. Description. Section 3. Distribution and habitat. Section 4. Ecology and behavior. Section 4.1 Diet Section 4.2 Reproduction Section 5 Relationship with Humans Section 6 Footnotes Section 7 External Links Section 1 Taxonomy The common name vulture is derived from the Latin word vulturus which means terror and is a reference to its feeding habits. The species name Atratus means clothed in black from the Latin adder or black. The genus name Corrigips means raven vulture from a contraction of the Greek Corax and Gyps for the respective birds. The family name Cathartidae means purifier and is also derived from the Greek Cathartis. The exact taxonomic placement of the American black vulture and the remaining six species of New World vultures remains unclear. Though both are similar in appearance and have similar ecological roles, the New World and Old World vultures evolved from different ancestors in different parts of the world. Just how different the two are is currently under debate, with some earlier authorities suggesting that the New World vultures are more closely related to storks. More recent authorities maintain their overall position in the order Falconiformes, along with the Old World vultures, or place them in their own order Cathartiformes. 
the south american classification committee has removed the new world vultures from siconiformes and instead placed them in insert setis but notes that a move to falconiformes or cathartiformes is possible there are three subspecies of american black vulture one c a atratus named by the german ornithologist johann mathaus bechstein in seventeen ninety three is known as the north american black vulture it is the nominate subspecies it is approximately the same size as c a fetens but its plumage is not as dark its range stretches from northern mexico through texas and the southern united states north to the carolinas two c a brasiliensis named by charles lucien jules laurent bonaparte in eighteen fifty is known as the southern american black vulture it is smaller than c a atratus and c a fetens the light markings on the undersides of the primaries are whiter and broader than those of the other subspecies and the underwing coverts are lighter than those of c a fetens it is found in central america and northern south america to the south the range extends to the coastal regions of peru on the west and the lowlands of bolivia on the east to the north it stretches to sonora in western mexico and san luis potosi in eastern mexico it is not found in high altitude regions three c a fetens named by martin lichtenstein in eighteen seventeen is known as the andean black vulture it is approximately the same size as c a atratus the markings on the undersides of the primaries are smaller than those of the other subspecies and the underwing coverts are darker it is found in the andes range from northern ecuador through peru northern bolivia paraguay uruguay and the lowlands of chile section one point one evolutionary history of corrigips from the early to the late pleistocene a prehistoric species of black vulture corrigips occidentalis known as the pleistocene black vulture or somewhat in error the western black vulture occurred across the present species range the bird did not differ much from the american black vulture of today except in size it was some ten to fifteen per cent larger and had a relatively flatter and wider bill it filled the same ecological niche as the living form and indeed seems to have evolved into it by decreasing in size during the last ice age well documented from fossil bones the genus corrigips gives a rare glimpse in the evolutionary dynamics of two chronospecies the final stages of this evolutionary transformation must have been witnessed by humans a subfossil bone of the extinct species was found in a paleo-indian to early archaic or nine thousand to eight thousand years b c e midden at five mile rapids near the dulls oregon fossil or subfossil black vultures cannot necessarily be attributed to the pleistocene or the recent species without further information the same variation found in the living bird was also present in its larger prehistoric relative thus in nineteen sixty eight hildegard howard separated the mexican birds as corrigips occidentalis mexicanus as opposed to the birds from locations farther north such as rancho la brea which constituted the nominate subspecies co occidentalis the southern birds were of the same size as present-day north american black vultures and can only be distinguished by their somewhat stouter tarso metatarsus and the flatter and wider bills and even then only with any certainty if the location where the fossils were found is known as the pleistocene and current american black vultures form an evolutionary continuum rather than splitting into two or more lineages some include the pleistocene taxa in c atratus section two description the american black vulture is a very large bird of prey measuring sixty five centimeters or twenty five point five inches in length 
with a 1.5 meter or 5 foot wingspan and a weight of 2 to 2.75 kilograms or 4.5 to 6 pounds. Its plumage is mainly glossy black. The head and neck are featherless and the skin is dark gray and wrinkled. The iris of the eye is brown and has a single incomplete row of eyelashes on the upper lid and two rows on the lower lid. The legs are grayish white, while the two front toes of the foot are long and have small webs at their bases. The feet are flat, relatively weak, and are poorly adapted to grasping. The talons are also not designed for grasping as they are relatively blunt. The nostrils are not divided by a septum, but rather are perforate. From the side one can see through the beak. The wings are broad but relatively short. The basis of the primary feathers are white, producing a white patch on the underside of the wing's edge, which is visible in flight. The tail is short and square, barely reaching past the edge of the folded wings. The subspecies differ in size according to Bergman's rule, and the amount of white underwing coloration also varies. As it probably forms a cline over its entire range, the species is often considered monotypic. A leucistic Corgyps atratus brasilensis was observed in Pinas, Ecuador in 2005. It had white plumage overall, with only the tarsus and tail as well as some undertail feathers being black. It was not an albino, as its skin seemed to have had the normal dark color, and it was part of a flock of some twenty normally plumaged individuals. An image accompanies this section of the article with the caption, Corrigips atratus brasilensis. Section 3. Distribution and Habitat The American black vulture has a Nearctic and Neotropic distribution. Its range includes the southern United States, Mexico, Central America, and most of South America. It is usually a permanent resident throughout its range, although birds at the extreme north of its range may migrate short distances, and others across their range may undergo local movements in unfavorable conditions. In South America, its range stretches to central Chile and Argentina. It is also found on the islands of the Caribbean. It prefers open land interspersed with areas of woods or brush. It is also found in moist lowland forest, shrublands and grasslands, wetlands and swamps, pastures, and heavily degraded former forests. Preferring lowlands, it is rarely seen in mountainous areas. It is usually seen soaring or perched on fence posts or dead trees. Section 4. Ecology and Behavior it soars high while searching for food, holding its wings horizontally when gliding. It flaps in short bursts, which are followed by short periods of gliding. Its flight is less efficient than that of other vultures, as the wings are not as long, forming a smaller sail surface. In comparison with the turkey vulture, the American black vulture flaps its wings more frequently during flight. It is known to regurgitate when approached or disturbed, which assists in predator deterrence and taking flight by decreasing its takeoff weight. Like all New World vultures, the American black vulture often defecates on its own legs, using the evaporation of the water in the feces and or urine to cool itself, a process known as urohydrosis. It cools the blood vessels in the unfeathered tarsi and feet and causes white uric acid to streak the legs. Because it lacks a syrinx, the American black vulture, like other New World vultures, has very few vocalization capabilities. It is generally silent, but can make soft hisses and grunts. The American black vulture is gregarious and roosts in large groups. In areas where their ranges overlap, the American black vulture will roost on the bare branches of dead trees with groups of turkey vultures. The American black vulture generally forages in groups. A flock of black vultures can easily drive a turkey vulture, which is generally solitary while foraging, from a carcass. Like the turkey vulture, this vulture is often seen standing in a spread wing stance. The stance is believed to serve multiple functions, drying the wings, warming the body, and baking off bacteria. 
The same behavior is displayed by other New World vultures, Old World vultures, and storks. An image accompanies this section of the article with the caption, A group of American black vultures perching on a fence. Section 4.1 Diet In natural settings, the American black vulture eats mainly carrion. In areas populated by humans, it may scavenge at garbage dumps, but also takes eggs and decomposing plant material and can kill or injure newborn or incapacitated mammals. Like other vultures, it plays an important role in the ecosystem by disposing of carrion, which would otherwise be a breeding ground for disease. The American black vulture locates food either by sight or by following New World vultures of the genus Cathartis to carcasses. These vultures, the turkey vulture, the lesser yellow-headed vulture, and the greater yellow-headed vulture, forage by smell, an ability which is uncommon in the avian world. They fly low to the ground to pick up the scent of ethyl mercaptan, a gas produced by the beginnings of decay in dead animals. Their heightened ability to detect odors allows them to search for carrion below the forest canopy. King vultures and American black vultures, which lack the ability to smell carrion, follow them to carcasses. It is aggressive when feeding and may chase the slightly larger turkey vulture from carcasses. The American black vulture also occasionally feeds on livestock or deer. It is the only species of New World vulture which preys on cattle. It occasionally harasses cows which are giving birth, but primarily preys on newborn calves. In its first few weeks, a calf will allow vultures to approach it. The vultures swarm the calf in a group, then peck at the calf's eyes or at the nose or the tongue. The calf then goes into shock and is killed by the vultures. This section of the article is accompanied by an image with the caption, An American Black Vulture at a Garbage Dump. Section 4.2 Reproduction The timing of American black vultures' breeding season varies with the latitude at which they live. In the United States, birds in Florida begin breeding as early as January, for example, while those in Ohio generally do not start before March. In South America, Argentinian and Chilean birds begin egg-laying as early as September, while those further north on the continent typically wait until October. Some in South America breed even later than that. American black vultures in Trinidad typically do not start until November, for example, and those in Ecuador may wait until February. Pairs are formed following a courtship ritual which is performed on the ground. Several males circle a female with their wings partially open as they strut and bob their heads. They sometimes perform courtship flights, diving or chasing each other over their chosen nest. Sight. The American black vulture lays its eggs on the ground in a wooded area, a hollow log, or some other cavity, seldom more than three meters or ten feet above the ground. While it generally does not use any nesting materials, it may decorate the area around the nest with bits of brightly colored plastic, shards of glass, or metal items such as bottle caps. Clutch size is generally two eggs, so this can vary from one to three. The egg is oval and on average measures 7.56 by 5.09 centimeters or 3 by 2 inches. The smooth gray-green bluish or white shell is variably blotched or spotted with lavender or pale brown around the larger end. Both parents incubate the eggs which hatch after 28 to 41 days. Upon hatching the young are covered with white down. Both parents feed the nestlings, regurgitating food at the nest site. The young remain in the nest for two months, and after 75 to 80 days, they are able to fly skillfully. Section 5. Relationship with Humans The American black vulture is considered a threat by cattle ranchers due to its predation on newborn cattle. The droppings produced by American black vultures and other vultures can harm or kill trees and other vegetation. The American black vulture can be held in captivity, though the Migratory Bird Treaty Act only allows this in the case of animals which are injured or unable to return to the wild. It receives special legal protections under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1918 
in the United States, by the Convention for the Protection of Migratory Birds in Canada, and by the Convention for the Protection of Migratory Birds and Game Mammals in Mexico. In the United States, it is illegal to take, kill, or possess American black vultures, and violation of the law is punishable by a fine of up to $15,000 U.S., and imprisonment of up to six months. It is listed as a species of least concern by the IUCN Red List. Populations appear to remain stable, and it has not reached the threshold of inclusion as a threatened species, which requires a decline of more than 30% in 10 years or three generations. The American black vulture appears in a variety of Maya hieroglyphics and Mayan codices. It is normally connected with either death or as a bird of prey. The vulture's glyph is often shown attacking humans. This species lacks the religious connections that the king vulture has. While some of the glyphs clearly show the American black vulture's open nostril and hooked beak, some are assumed to be this species because they are vulture-like but lack the king vulture's knob and are painted black. The vulture has appeared on two stamps, that of Guyana in 1990 and Nicaragua in 1994. An image accompanies this section of the article with the caption, A Flock of American Black Vultures on a Cow Carcass. Section 6 Footnotes There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 7. External Links This section includes a list of external websites where you can find additional information on the subject matter of this article. Link 1 is titled, American Black Vulture Video from the Internet Bird Collection. Link 2 is titled, American Black Vulture Photo Gallery from Vireo. Link 3 is titled, American Black Vulture Video Footage. Link 4 is titled, Photography Showing the Skeletal Structure of the American Black Vulture. This section also includes a link to the Wiki Species Project, which has information related to the American Black Vulture. This section also includes a link to the Wikimedia Commons project which has media related to the American Black Vulture. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.